Hey guys, Luke here. I'm here to do another preview of the 2015 NRL season, going through all the transfers. In this episode, we're going to be talking about Josh Hodgson, who I believe has moved from Hull KR to the Canberra Raiders. I'm not sure how long his deal is, but I'm giving my thoughts on that transfer. And I should just uh, point out, this is sort of the same uh, situation as Mark Alicia, and a little bit even more so in the fact that you know, I don't watch too much Super League, so it's hard for me to give an accurate assessment of it. So I'm just going to talk about the little bits that I know about him and that sort of stuff. Um, so let's get into it. Now, what I think of this transfer or signing, I think it's actually a really good move by Raiders. I uh, just want to point out, like, in all the previous years, they've had a weakness. They, they've always had a decent fullback. They've always found someone who can sort of fill in there. Halves, uh, a little bit iffy. Um, it depends on what year, but, you know, they, they, they've had, you know and okay halves or whatever, but the one thing they've missed, they've never had, is a great hooker. Um, I think they tried Berrigan's probably the best one of recent time. I can't really remember anyone else, but like Glenn Buttress, um, McIlrick, whoever else have tried there, um, even, um, oh, I forget his name. He's right there. I can see his name in my head. McCrone, Josh McCrone. Um, they've, they've tried him there, tried a whole bunch of people, um, even the Waddell. They've even tried him, and none of them been able to secure a spot. Well, Buttress has been there, but I see he's just... You know, I, I don't really rate Buttress at all, and I don't think many people do. But uh, Josh Hudson, I think he should be a definite upgrade. How much of an upgrade, I don't know, because um, I don't really know that much. But based off, you know, he's, he made the England squad. He's been around the scene for England in terms of, I think he's been in their, like, reserve side uh, quite a bit. But um, I don't know if James Roby was injured or not, whatnot, but, um, you know, he made the made the squad for Four Nation because the starting hooker for all the games. Although the guy who ended up um, coming off the bench, I can't remember his name, but... Um, he, he was really good. He was really, really good. I think he got the Man of man of Steel or whatever last year. Uh, leave in the comments what his name was. I forget what it is. But he was awesome. Um, and I think he outshone Hodgson. But at the same time, Hodgson, from what I can gather, his role was just in there, sort of absorb all the impact. Just get in, do a lot of defense, and then bring on the other dude for a bit of spark. Now, if, if Hodgson, if all he is is someone who can just tackle his ass off in the middle and, you know, do some good stuff, I think... I think that's a, a plus for Raiders. They have lots of big boys in the squad. Um, you know, and also it gives Phantom uh, someone else to get in there, do some work. And, and then it also leads the Papalis and like, uh, the new Asalas uh, to you know be more refreshed and you know get in and do some, do some of the attacking rather than have to use all their energy on defense. Um, and you, you'd like to think that his decision making be a bit better than uh, the previous ones. But uh, overall, if you look at the Raiders... Uh, I think they've recruited quite well. I mean, there could have been a few people. Could have done. Could have done Sizzle Wonga. Could have done Nua Sala. Nua Sala actually forgot about him, but you know, he definitely could have done him. Uh, Soliola, he's another good signing for them. Um, I'm not sure what sort of team they're gonna put out. They've also got Sam Wins back. Um, you know, I'd say the Haas would be Austin and Cornish, but um, you know, it's a little bit up in the air at this stage on who's playing where. I'd like to see White at fullback, but you know, this is about Hodgson, and uh, I just gotta say, good signing from Ricky Stewart. Um, Rick Stewart doesn't get too much credit, but I think it's it's good that he's delved into the Super League, especially considering a lot of the Anarol, he's sort of, you know, he's got a black flag on him. No one will go to him. No one will even consider it. And, you know, good reason. Cause let's be honest, the Canberra's not a good place to live. And, you know, they're just not an attractive side to want to go and play for. But uh, that must Josh Hodgson must have seen something. Um, maybe he didn't have many options. I don't know. But, yeah, I think he should, should go all right, the Anarol. And I'm, it's good to see another Englishman coming over. Um, testing the waters over here. It's good to see we've got Tompkins, we've got, um, you know, all the Burgess lads, Graham, you know, there's been there's been a fair few people, Gareth Ellis, in recent times. Um, just just really good. I like to see the English people come over, and I think it also improves the game as a whole, you know, including the international game, so good stuff on that front. But um, that's where we're going to leave the video. It doesn't have a face, so I didn't bother showing it. But, uh, yeah, if you could leave a like, that'd be awesome. Leave your opinions in the comments. And I just want to point out, this is, these are opinions. These aren't facts for me, so don't take them as facts. It's just an opinion. Um, but, yeah, leave a, leave a like. Uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you for my next video, guys. Bye.